Today's presentation is brought to you by Dr. Gang Su's Swan World. In the heart of Great Boston, there is a great river. Upon the Boston side of the river lies one of the most loved parks by Boston people, the Boston Esplanade. This neat, beautiful retreat, however, will be ruined by non-native plant as early as October 2023 just a few months away. We are facing a imminent outbreak of bird duck infestation in Boston, a crisis that's difficult to manage, but will impact on the quality of our life in the years to come. Bird duck is not a native plant species in the U.S. They were accidentally introduced to America, likely by cattle that were stuck with burdock seeds in the fur when they were shipped to here from Europe in 1600s. Burdock is a biennial weed that's empowered with aggressive growth and reproduction tactics. In the first year, they focus on using their low, big leaves to maximally occupy the soil surface and capture the sunlight. They convert the sunlight into food storage in the taproot. In the second year, they send up a branched stalk from the taproot, flower, and produce up to 15,000 seeds each plant. Their seeds are encapsulated in burrs. These burrs have hooked bristles on their surface. They can catch on to passing animals and people easily, spreading their seeds farther and wider. Although being valued as food and herb medicine in some cultures, burdock is not an ornamental plant for landscaping. As a matter of fact, they are quite an unfit side to the fall foliage when they finish the life cycle in the second year. As early as September, they start from their dried leaf in the air, like pieces of dirty cloth. Sticking to the fur, hair, shoes, or clothing of a dog or human surreptitiously, birds are not just annoying. They can also cause serious medical injuries that warrant a clinic visit. It has been documented that clumps of birds ensnarl and kill small birds. Most disturbingly, once bird dog takes its root, they can quickly wipe out other weeds, destroy the diversity of vegetation, and compromise our ecosystem. To see how horrible burdock could be, a quick trip to some nearby parks will be illustrating. Two and a half miles from downtown Boston, easily commutable by subway, there is another great river, the Mystic River, a river that many birds would like to make it their home.
on the north side of the river, there is a park called Tober McDonald Park. This park is featured by a very neat meadow with a watchtower on the side, offering a view of the downtown Boston skyline at sunrise and sunset. A music fence for people to explore, experiment with, and improvise. And a nice hill for our good friends to roam freely and the American flag. But this park has been devastated by bird dog. Deep inside the park, bird dog has just finished their best season on its fertile soil. Their stalks have grown to more than seven feet tall, so tall that they couldn't even support themselves. They collapse. Their seeds will germinate the next spring, expanding their conquest. The meadow is under siege of bird dock. At multiple edges of its perimeter, Burdock is showing their robust presence. It's just a matter of time, maybe four years, for Burdock to wipe out this meadow if no intervention is taken. The music fans will be ruined much sooner. Already, it's enclosed by clusters of first-year burdock plants. In the coming fall, the music fans will be fenced by a circle of menacing burdock stalks, just like this tree at the foot of the park hill. On the other side of the river, the situation is even worse in the Sylvester Baxter Riverfront Park. At one park entry, a burdock plant shows its conspicuous presence. Next fall, this plant will greet visitors with a five-foot stalk, full of birds. It was not far away from this spot that a stunning observation was documented eight years ago about a swan family. A swan mother suddenly poked at a signet, an action of a rebuking. The signet first tried to run away hiding among its siblings. But the child had to turn back and face the mother. The father raised the wings, a display of authority, and managed the situation. Apparently, the mother was talking to the child. She brought the signet to the other side. The signet has a least white area in plumage, suggesting it was the youngest among the siblings. Then, a staggering thing unfolded. The mother started to teach the signet flapping wings, a motion integral to the flight. This observation indicates that swan parents have evolved the way of disciplining and educating their children methodically and purposefully, suggesting that swans are capable of abstract thinking and rationality. The mother rounded up the session and led the family to their next destination. The father brought up the rear. Of particular relevance, these photos show that rays dominated the shoreline on either bank of the river.
eight years ago. How about eight years later? Today, if a mother walks with her teenager girl along the river and sees a swan, look, a swan, the mother points to the bird. This is what the girl will very likely see. In this segment of the bank, where dark has completely replaced the other weights. Even in summer 2020, there were still quite some weights here, but now they are all gone. Apparently, where dark here has enjoyed rampant proliferation during the COVID-19 pandemic. Further down the trail, there are still some other weights, but they are being squeezed to a narrow zone by dense patches of burdock. On the bank beyond the children's playground, other weights such as weights, poke weight, and the golden rod are fighting for their last folding. But they are already surrounded and infiltrated by burdock. Almost certainly, they will disappear from the bank in less than three years. Nearby, burdock has claimed the garden mound. This park is part of the assembly square an area that's closely connected to downtown Boston and packed with diverse and dynamic human activities. When you have a place like this, you are going to see bird dog propagation in the city of Boston. Back to the Boston Esplanade. Fortunately, the park hasn't reached the end stage of burdock infestation, but the first year burdock is everywhere. They have occupied many bank segments along the Charles River. In the next few months, these plants will flower, bear seeds, and wait for dogs and humans to disperse their birds farther and wider. In October 2023, this is what our children or grandchildren would say if they look across the Charles River from the Boston Esplanade.